Okay, let's be honest. The last rigging tutorial was not good, but that's about to change. In this tutorial, you will learn how to rig literally anything you want. Cars, planes, boats, and so on. Well, um, we're gonna start by first talking about the basics of rigging. And um, after that, uh, we're gonna rig a car. And uh, I think that will be it. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, we'll start with the basics. Um, we'll just say that I want to make this part um, animatable and moon animated. This one single part. So uh, in order to do that, we're gonna group it like this. Put any of the model, whatever you want, but I'm gonna call it the moving parts. Okay. And then we're gonna group this part, and we're gonna name it parts. And then we're gonna name the part main. Whatever you name this part, it's gonna show up in the moon animator uh, like this. So um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert a completely different part. I'll make it dark. Uh, then we're gonna do it like uh, surround it, and we'll set transparency to one just so we can't see it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this part, the new part, into the model like this. So right here we have the parts model, and then right here we have that part. I'm gonna name it. Um, I'm just gonna name it uh, the second main part. It honestly doesn't matter what you name it, as long as it's different from names of all the other parts. Now we're going to select this model, we're going to go over here to primary part, and then we're going to select uh, this new part that we added. <coughs> um, now we're going to select this part, the invisible part, and then we're going to go to the model and click on our main part, go to easy weld, and click join in place. Now if we go to moon animator, Open animation, test, light to like this. Um, as you can see, we can move it around. It's fully animatable. Um, and yeah, but let's say I want more than just one part connected to this um, part. So we're gonna insert a new one because uh, we'll just make it darker so you can see better. Um, and um, yeah, I want to connect this part to this one. So it is, uh, so that one is connected to this one. We'll name it number one, just so it is named something different. Um, what I like doing is I like to create a new model and uh, we'll name it other. And there I usually put all the parts that will be added to the main part. So we'll put our number one part in here. Then we're gonna select the main part. And then we're gonna select the part, the, uh, the number one part. Then we're gonna go to Easy Weld and click Join in Place. We'll add it to the animator. And as we can see, it has added itself over here. So we can move it, and this part will also move with uh, this part. So um, I like to think of it as first having uh, the base. So once you get the, the main part uh, figured out, then you can add all these other parts. But uh, let's just say that um, we're not just dealing with parts, we're dealing with uh, models. So. Um, and you'll probably usually deal with uh, models. Uh, so just give me a little bit of time, I'm gonna make a model. Okay, so I made the model over here. Over right here we have the wheels of the plane. This one is a part, and this one is a model. And then over right here, the plane itself is a model. And what we're going to do is we're going to add these wheels to the plane. I'm not good at making planes. Um, but let's begin. So first, uh, what I did is um, before the parts were just like that, 
and then what I did is I grouped them and put them in a separate model. I highly suggest to do this because then this way all your parts are going to be a lot more organized. So over here we have all the parts of the plane and um, you know as we usually do I will I chose the main part of the plane and I named the body. So in this case I chose this part of the plane to be the main part. I could have chose this part, I could have chose this part, but I chose this one just so it's easier to click on. And I just named it uh, body because um, I want it to show up on the moon animator as body. And um, well, we, you can just uh, insert a new part, you know. I'm just gonna scale it very quickly to the size of the plane. And um, I'm just gonna put it in here into the plane. Transparency to one, and we'll name it something different. So I'm gonna name mine plane part. And then uh, we're gonna select the main model, the airplane itself, primary part, and then we're gonna click on this transparent part. Then I'm gonna select this transparent part, and then select the part that we chose to be as the body or aka the main part. Then we're going to go over here to Easy Weld and click Join in Place. And we may think that it's done, but if we go add it to the Moon Animator over here, it may say Rig, but if we try to move the body, it will move just the body, but not all these other parts that we have here. We want to move with these other parts. So how do we do that? Well, uh, that's when the... Um, uh, that's um, what we're gonna do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the body model and then the body part or the part that you chose to be the main part. Then we're gonna go over here and click uh, to easy weld and we're gonna click weld model. So what it just did is it has created welds for all these other parts in this model. And um, now if we try to go to moon animator over here, we'll add this plane, and um, we can see that all these other parts now move with the plane, because all these parts right here are attached to this main body part. So these parts are attached to this one, and um, yeah, that's good. So now we made um, a lot of, uh, we basically rigged this plane, but we want to add more stuff to it, so we'll start with the front wheel uh, of the plane. And this uh, is made out of a single part, or as others may know it as union. So let me just put it into the middle. Oops, into the middle. Uh, like that. Okay. You know what? We'll put it like this. I'm not great at making planes. And uh, so we're gonna go over here to our plane model. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new model and we're gonna name it other. I like to make a new model usually, name it other, and then put there all the parts that are gonna be connected to the body part and they're gonna be animatable. So let's take the front wheel and put it into the other model. Uh, now all we're gonna do is we're gonna select the body part right here in the body model and then the front wheel go to plugins go to easy weld and click join in place okay so now if we try to go to moon animator I'll add it it adds the, the wheel is right here and uh, it will move with the plane and uh, as well, we can just, you know, hide it like this. And now, it, the this front wheel is fully animatable. You can extend it, take it out, whatever you want to do. Yeah. See? And, um, but that was just a single part. What if we want to add an entire model? Well... Of course, first we're gonna position it. I think this is about close to the middle. Oops. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna put mine here. I know this is terribly wrong, but it works. So I named the model, um, named the model something different, and I will name mine where wheels. Now we're gonna put it uh, into the other model of the plane, right here, into here. And just put it here, and now. Um, we can see that these uh, have one here and one here, but um, we're gonna have to choose one of these wheels to be our main part, uh, the main part of this specific wheel model. And um, uh, if we select one of these, it won't be in the middle. So what I like doing is I like adding a part and we'll just scale it to about the size of the wheels like that and we'll make it invisible and then we're gonna add it into the model the wheels model okay and uh, we're gonna name this part um, rare wheels so we're gonna select the model, and then we're gonna select this part. Easy weld, uh, and then weld model. So this part now has created welds for these parts. So these parts are attached to this invisible part. And uh, you may think, well, why did I add this part? I could have just, you know, added everything to this one. But the problem will be that uh, it will be going like, well, it will not look as right. So right here, I have two examples. Uh, as you can see, this is the one where I just added to a wheel, and this is the one where I made the part. So yeah, I recommend you do it this way if you have two objects and a distance like that that you have to, you know, well, hope this makes sense. So now we have the rear wheels uh, model inside of the other model so we're gonna go to our body part and then go over here to the model that we just added and then we're gonna go to the part that has all these welds created in our case it's named rare wheels we're gonna go into easy weld parts and click join in place so now you can see that in the body model it has created a weld for the rare wheels and uh, if we open it in Moon Animator, oops, animation plane, add the plane, and we can see that it has added rare wheels here. And indeed, it works as intended. You can, you know, put them here, or like maybe take them out, you know, something like that. And they will move with the plane and everything. So yeah so the front wheel is a single part and the rear wheels are is a model S and the plane itself is as you know it is a model so yeah this is how you basic rigging i guess you know how to rig stuff now so um yeah now we're gonna go and move on to the um rigging a car and uh, if this is all you wanted to know, you can click off, but if you want to keep watching and learn about how to rig a car, then um, just keep watching. <laughs>
uh, we're gonna look at it. So as we can see, we have this stuff here. We're not gonna need it, so we're gonna get rid of it. As well, we can see that in this model, uh, usually cars will have this model, and inside it will be stuff like steering wheel, pedals, or something. I don't know. But we're just gonna all drag it into this uh, model right here. We're gonna get rid of this model because we won't need it. As well, it has wheels. Uh, okay, we're gonna get rid of all these, uh, this stuff here. And as well, I wanna point out that uh, this, uh, I made my, uh, I like building uh, my rigs similar to how um, these cars are structured, as uh, you can see here, side by side comparison. So, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. We're gonna look through all the parts of the car, and we're gonna find the, uh, what is this? Okay, so these are the part, the body parts. We're gonna look through them, and uh, what is this? Nope. Um, I highly suggest when you're choosing the main part, it will be like a part in the middle. Because then uh, this way, it's gonna be uh, just easier to animate, it will save a lot of brain cells. I mean, you don't need this many parts in this car. There we go. Found it. Uh, oh, there you go. This. So it will probably look something like this. Uh, we're just gonna name it body. This is gonna be the well the body of the car. And um, yes, we're gonna repeat the same thing like we did uh, in the previous example, and we're just gonna make a giant box over the car. As so, well, if you watched my last tutorial, that's exactly what I did. This is just no new information received here. It's just basically gonna be the same thing. So we're gonna put it here. We're gonna name it car parts. And uh, set the model over here, this primary part, to this part that we have inserted. Basically the same thing. Find the main part or the body part right here. We name the body. I'm gonna go to plugins, easy weld, and click join in place. Uh, yeah. So now what we're gonna do is uh, we already have the body over here. Open animation, test, over here. As we can see, we already have the body. It moves, but it doesn't move the parts with it. So for that, we're gonna select this model body model. I'm gonna go down here to part, click easy weld, and click weld model. Let's cross create all these welds. I'm gonna go to moon animator, uh, re repeat this, and as you can see the body takes all these other parts with it. As you can see there are a few models in here but it doesn't matter apparently. Yeah. But you can see the wheels are not moving, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make the wheels be attached to the car and animatable. Let's go over here to wheels. What we're gonna do is you're gonna group each one, just like this. And as um, as you saw from the, well, because this one is just a single part, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the body part and then just add them one by one. I didn't actually even have to group them all, but it's too late. We'll just join them all in place, like this. You select the body first, and then the wheel. Okay. Now if we go over here to Moon Animator. Test, and we can see that, oh, what? 
because I moved for some reason. Um, oops. Uh, hold up. What did I do? Oh, pfft, I forgot to weld them. There we go. Forgot to weld them. Just weld the wheels, okay? Forgot to weld them. So just, um, yeah, make sure you weld the wheels. I just, I just forgot to weld them. So I think now it should be fine. Yep, there we go, it's fine. So as you can see, the wheels turn, they spin, and uh, the car is fully animatable. If you want to, uh, if you want this car, it's uh, gonna be in the, the model of this car is gonna be the link in the description. 